Hello everyone, welcome to the 100 tip for the day. I want to talk about uh, speed classes. Um, oftentimes I will talk to or counsel a student who might be frustrated because they technically have passed out of a speed class such as 100 and now they're in the 120 class, but they feel like they haven't really mastered the 100 class yet. And that is, that, that is, that's going to happen. Um, technically, what you need to think of is if you've passed a couple of speed tests in 100 and you now call yourself a 120 student, you probably passed on two tests that you, maybe they were a little bit easier, maybe the material was more simple, um, you know, or maybe it was material that you just really thought was um, a little bit easier. Um, so, once you put yourself in the next speed class, so you, let's say you go to 120, you still, it's really important that you still practice to the 100 uh, speed class. Even though that's considered your trail class, it's very important that you still practice to that and transcribe the tests um, because you wanna master that speed class. So you wanna be able to pass speed tests that maybe are more difficult and not on the easier side. So as a student, I would always tell myself, okay, once I go into 120, I'm really not mastering the 100 until I have passed out of 120. And then I knew I really had mastered the 100 speed class. So you, if you look at it that way, then it helps to um, realize that you do need to take the time to practice in that uh, trail speed class. It's also important to push as well because then you're getting a boost and a push for your actual speed class but it's it's so important that you trail and that is why because you you know chances are you haven't mastered that that speed class until you've actually passed a couple of uh, of tests so once you're in the 120 class I urge you to still continue to transcribe the 100 Q&A tests until you're consistently passing those and that may not be until you get out of the 120 class and um, and then by, you know when you move into the 120 class just or the 140 class then just know that you know it's going to take a while to get those down just because you passed a couple um, doesn't mean that you've mastered that speed it just probably means you passed a couple of good tests so don't let that be in a uh, dis discouraging thing to you but just a fact and then it'll make it easier to practice in your trail class and that's your 100 tip for the day.